<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the home of Cinch YouTube, Rockingham, where today we've got ourselves a Hyper Racer X1, an Australian built single seater powered by a 195 horsepower Hayabusa Suzuki Superbike motor. And this thing is fast, it weighs half as much as a Formula One car and about a third as much as a Mini Cooper. And today we've got it at a relatively sunny but quite slippery Rockingham to see what it's like to drive. Firstly, let me tell you in 30 seconds what the Hyper Racer X1 is all about. It is faster to 124 miles per hour than a Porsche 911 GT2 RS by several tenths, thanks to its mix of high revving superbike power and a featherweight setup. And with a space frame chassis and thin, aero focused bodywork draped over F1 style suspension, it's raucous and extreme, but also surprisingly easy to run. In fact, Le Mans Coupes, who imports the car to Britain, says this is arguably the simplest way to go single-seater racing with minimal maintenance required, meaning you don't need an engineering degree to get on track. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, when searching for your next car, why not check out cinch.co.uk or download our app. Woo! So here we are on board. What well, I have to say feels like the most extreme single-seater I've ever driven. It's so much more exposed than anything else I've been in. And I've been in some pretty mad cars, including the Spartan from the Moncoupe. <laughs> who currently holds the fastest production car record on our little racetrack. But here today, this is a proper, proper race car, as you might have noticed. Wow, what a noise. As you can probably tell, this is a properly physical machine, so those wanting a friendly supercar experience need not apply. Oh. It's a whole other level. But thanks to the X1's use of a centrifugal clutch, there's no clutch pedal to press. Instead, you pull away like you're driving an automatic car and change gear simply by pulling or pushing the lever. So it's not a complicated car to operate at all. Here's a few corners with me attempting to demonstrate to you the reactivity and sound of the car as best as I could. I mean, even having driven this thing at barely probably 70% in the slippery conditions we had today, but even so, I could really feel that this thing is just so extreme. I had ear defenders in, and yet that Hayabusa motor felt like it was in my skull. It was vibrating through my head, and it was just absolutely spectacular. And of course, the fact that this thing is so small and such a short wheelbase, everything, every input you have, just really has a massive impact on what the car's doing. So when it's slippery, I was going in some bends, feeling a bit of understeer, but then the gentlest amount of acceleration was bringing the back of the car around again. It's just so adjustable. And of course, this machine is actually for sale, and you can buy yourself one, if you fancy it, from Le Mans Coupes. Now they're selling them, and they go in for under 60 grand before VAT, so if you want one, make sure you check out the website or find them on social media. But otherwise, hopefully we'll have this thing back here when the sun is shining and these things can be swapped for slicks. 